you doing? This is our 28, 30 videos in 30 days. Today's topic, or what I want to talk about today is, I want you to cancel Christmas. Now, you might be thinking, oh, bah humbug, why? Why should we be canceling Christmas? Now, I'm not saying cancel the whole concept of Christmas. What I want you to consider is cancel the habit of sending professional referrers and non-professional referrers gifts and cards over that particular period. Now, you might be thinking, why, why would we do that? Yeah, we want to thank them for all the things they've done for us throughout the year. And I think you should be thanking them in certain ways. But is Christmas really the right time to be doing it? Everybody is sending people gifts, baskets, bottles of wine, cards around Christmas time. And are you going to stand out from everybody else? So if you send a small box of chocolates at Christmas time to a professional referral, it could be a doctor, a physio, and somebody else sends them a massive box of chocolates, your box of chocolates is going to look like crap in comparison. Now, because they get so much stuff around that time, if you think of yourself to last Christmas or the Christmas before, say prior to COVID, how many people can you remember getting cards from? And when you got them, did you go, oh, wow, I got a card from someone this year? Or in your business, you get so many cards, all of a sudden it just starts to become a blur by the end. Now, so if you're not going to do that, here's the alternative, though is I still think you should be thanking your professional referrers. Choose a different day to thank them. So one thing we used to do at Proarch Podiatry was we created, uh, we got some bottles of wine and we used to give these out for Australia Day. So leading up to Australia Day, we would drop in a bottle of wine and here is a happy Australia Day, the one day of the year when it's okay to wear thongs. So we've got these bottles of wine done and we would drop them off to our professional referrers. Now, who else do you think dropped off a bottle of wine leading up to Australia Day? I would pretty, I'd take a hazard a guess, nobody did. Therefore, we stood out from everybody else that was doing all the stuff at Christmas time because that's what's expected. And because everyone's doing the same thing, it becomes a blur, it becomes very beige, unless you do something spectacular. But if you want to do something simple, like organizing your own bottles of wine, or it could just be a bottle of wine. It could be a six pack of beer, depending on who the professional referrer is or non-professional or whoever you're trying to build a relationship with. But if you do it on a day that everybody else is ignoring, but you pay special attention to that day, it will work. We used to do another thing, I think it was like on the 24th of April. And there was no significance of the 24th of April. We would just celebrate the 24th of April because Nobody else did. And we'd say to professional referrers, a prior podiatry, we'd like to do things a little bit differently. So this year we thought we'd celebrate the 24th of April because nobody else was celebrating the 24th of April. So look at what you're doing right now. Straight away, cancel Christmas. Don't worry about it. Let that month go past. Enjoy it with the people you work with. Spend the time, enjoy it with your family, with your clothes up for a couple of weeks. Really love, I, like I am a big kid when it comes to Christmas. I just absolutely love it. So I think enjoy Christmas, but don't use Christmas as the time to be trying to build up your connections with your professional referrals. Let that one go, cancel it, come up with another day, whether it's Australia Day, which may not work if you're in the States, you might use 4th of July. UK might be a completely different, uh, Queen's birthday could be a good one. So just pick days that still have some form of significance if you want, or you could just pick a random day. You can actually pick your birthday and say, it's my birthday, but the gift is for you. What you want to do is just stand out from what everybody else is doing in your area and try and be a little bit different. And that's just one way of actually doing it. Now, I'm just going to give a plug to the 12-week podiatry business reboot, which is coming up very, very soon in about four weeks' time, maybe five weeks. I think it's four weeks' time. And each week, we go over different aspects of your business, right through all the different types of recalls, reactivation, teamwork. There's a whole pile of stuff we go through over that 12 weeks. Whether you've been in business for a year or 20 years, it all applies. But the other thing I do is at the end of each session, we also go over a marketing tip. Now, I haven't discussed that one. So each week, we go over a pile of marketing tips as well, as well as a couple of weeks are concentrated just on daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly marketing, and also your yearly plan of creating a marketing plan. So keep it in mind, want details, go to my website, tysonfranklin.com and click on the 12-week podiatry business reboot. All the information is there. And I tell you, join in. It will be fun. About over 40 podiatrists go through it so far. Everyone has ticked it saying it was awesome. 
So I'm sure you will too. So as a part of passing, passing or final message, just remember, cancel Christmas, pick another day, stand out from everybody else. Talk to you later. Bye.